Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh, yeah, we had some chores we had to take care of today, so I didn't get much done out here. And it's getting toward the evening and it's cold. But I'm gonna come out here and try to slip in behind the go-kart here and see if I can't uh, find the ID numbers, you know? The model, serial number, and that kind of stuff so I can find that carburetor kit that I need and see what kind of a deal I can find on that. And uh, here we are at the go-kart. We're gonna sneak him behind here. And I saw it on here yesterday, but I was unable to get a good shot of it because I didn't try real hard. So, I'm gonna try to do it like this, or like this. Like down if I do it like that. So I'm hoping that when I get in the house I can pull this up on the computer and then actually read it. Because I don't feel like getting down. And I forgot to bring my glasses out here. So of course I can't read. So anyway, we're going to hope that works. <laughs> and we'll find out when I get in the house. So I got those model number. I was able to capture that identification tag off of that go-kart and uh, freeze frame the video that I took and get a snapshot of the tag itself so I could read it, and uh, which worked out swell. And I found a website. Actually, Steiny72 and I were chatting online one night and talking about this was quite some time ago I was talking about a carburetor for that machine and he found this Tecumseh carburetor website and it's actually Pat's small engine and I'll put a link to that site in the description of this video but uh, it has all different engines and all different parts it even has go-kart and mini bike parts it's a pretty cool website you just gotta dig around in there until you find what you're looking for but uh, so we know it's an HM80 model and the engine family is a 155-643S. Well, when you're searching down through there, I was finally able to find that engine family number and then cross-referenced it over to the part number that they recommend. And then when I went back to see on their main page with all their different carburetors, it says this, these two types will have, will fit these different models. And it says some HM80s, and it does not list that number that I just said, the 155643. And, but it, it swears up and down that that's the one I need. And it's, what was it, $57? But they also have these aftermarket brands. One of them is Oregon, and I don't remember the other one offhand. Brands that are about half the price, and they look they look so similar you probably couldn't tell them apart at a glance. But they do require their own specific rebuild kits, so they're not exactly the same somehow. But anyway, I tried to contact them, and it took me to a loop of look for this, look for that type thing, and there was actually no help and no way to send them an email. There is a way to send them an email, but it's, you know, you gotta type in that web address into your email and send it to them that way. It's also got a phone number, so I'm just gonna call them. I'm gonna go in the house here in just a minute and call them and see if I can't zero that down because I wanna make sure that whatever I purchase actually fits. You know, it's gotta fit those mounting holes. Other than that, uh, I really don't care, you know. I'm sure it'll work, you know. But anyway, that's what's going on with that. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to uh, show you this website, man. I'm just really impressed with it. It's got pretty neat stuff in here. So, bear with me just a second, and we'll flip over there and let you see what I'm seeing. 
Okay, guys, here's this website. It comes to carburetors. It's actually psep.biz slash store slash Tecumseh underscore carburetors. And I'll put the link in the description. But I just want to share this with you kind of quickly and just show you how vast it goes. I mean, these are just lists of carburetors after carburetors, plus the rebuild kits and the aftermarket carburetors and kits that you can get from these people. I mean, it just goes on for days. It's just the first page. Now, this carburetor right here is, looks exactly like the carburetor that's on my machine. However, they say that they can't guarantee it'll fit because of the engine family number is different. <clears throat> and the one I need is on another page, which is uh, one page back. And it's 55 bucks. These, this one is $51. And I could, if I thought that would work, I could get this aftermarket one over here that's $27. Or, and the kit that goes with it to rebuild it. <clears throat> but I'm going to go to the home page. And they've got stuff for ATVs, chainsaws, clothing, marine, leaf blowers, lawnmowers, tillers, tools, trimmers, water pumps, small engines, snowmobiles, snow throwers, helmets, go karts, and mini bikes. Let's click on that for a minute. They've got belts, brakes, chains, chemical lubricants, clutches, electrical, key stocks, sprockets, steering, wheels, rims, wheel bearings, tools, torque converters, throttles, tires, and tubes. Huh? Yeah. Go back to the home page again. And then they go into their, uh, all the different, like motorcycles. I don't even know what they've got. Buell, Bomoda, Kimco, La Virda, Mondel, Aprilla, Benelli, Bomoda. Harley Davidson, Honda, Indian, Suzuki, Polaris, Victory, Mayagusta, Motoguzi, Yamaha, Triumph. I mean, really? Wow. A $7.95 flat rate shipping per whole order. Anything over $300, you get a 5% discount at the checkout. But anyway, we're going to go back to small engines here just so I can show you what it is that I found so neat about this. And, of course, I'm looking at a Tecumseh, so we're going to go there. Oh, look at this. They've just got, well, there's just a few small engines. So we're uh, going to look at Tecumseh and, and carburetors, carburetors complete, carburetors rebuilt, repair kits. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a shop online parts lookup. And it brings you to this page. And I, it's got to come some power supply because that's what I clicked on. You keep using these drop downs till you get where you want. Now you got choices: two cycle or four cycle, horizontal, short blocks, vertical, short blocks, carburetors, electric motors, magnetos, OEM cross references, starters, transaxles. We're going to do carburetor parts, and then we're going to select. The, uh, no, we're not. I apologize. We're going back and going to select four cycle horizontal. And from there, we're going to go down and click on the HM80, which we know that's what my machine is. And from there, then you have to scroll down till you find your engine family number. And I know mine is 1556. Four, three. So it's way down at the bottom here. Six four three S. There it is. And then you open this up, and it gives you this little drop down of different choices. We're going to click on the first one, and this should open up a parts breakdown. Now this is what's amazing. You can enlarge this. and it will show you every nut and bolt and mechanical device inside that engine down to the rings, the gaskets, you know, all that stuff. The carburetor, and here's the carburetor for say right here. 
there's a number beside it. You click on that number and it pulls up the part number, the price, and uh, how many of them you want and you can add it to your cart from here. Or you could scroll, you could take that reference number 380 and scroll down below and you got all those parts by the uh, pro, you know <coughs> corresponding number and you scroll all the way down here to 380 and you find that same carburetor for 5595 well I got you know I got to thinking you know what all I need is the needle jet the keeper pin a float a carburetor a float bowl gasket and a few o-rings so I went through here and picked out all those pieces and my total was 14 bucks and plus the 795 shipping so I'm at 20 bucks and I'll be able to put you know rebuild my carburetor put it back together and uh, yeah you know and they've got all those different things for all that different stuff I was like yeah yeah that's hard to beat so I highly recommend that you pull this uh, Pat's Small Engine Plus website up and bookmark it in your browsers so you'll have them for future reference and I will put the link to that in the description of course yeah I was trying to do a uh, screen capture device and I just couldn't get it to work right so I decided to just use my webcam and do it like that so yeah that's the uh, screensaver that Steiny72 put on his computer for me when he built it for me. And I just like it enough that I've never changed it. But that looks kind of trippy, huh? Alright. And so there you go. Uh, you can go have a look at that for yourself. I think you may find it helpful. I know it's really a resource I, I'm going to keep handy. And, uh, I apologize for that looking like such a mess because it's hard to navigate through there. It seems like, well, I haven't done it enough to get fluent with it, but uh, it seemed like if I hit the home button, a lot of times it would take me to different places, I guess, depending on where you are when you hit it. So, but yeah, you get in there fishing around for a while, you're liable to catch some. So, all right. Thanks for checking this out. Uh, I'll let you know when those parts get here. We actually do the work. But I just wanted to share that with you for now. So, Y'all take care. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to go check out the uh, the big swag sale, uh, Cyber Monday at SCH Design. Get your tough dog swag or your favorite YouTuber swag. And uh, it's going to be a great time to be getting gifts if you like that kind of thing. Because uh, the prices are going to be really good. You know, it's lower than usual. And it's a one-shot deal for this. So don't miss that. And don't forget you, Dizzy, and his... Uh, Stolen bike fun, you know, that's uh that's a big deal. That's my clock. It must be ride time. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll see you. Take care. And I'll put the links and everything down in the description below, of course. All right, bye-bye.